Hallelujah. Hello, my brothers and sisters, Christians around the world. We want to clear something up for the body of Christ today. Some are confused about which covenant do we follow today. We know there's the old covenant and the covenant of Moses, the covenant of law, and the new covenant that Jesus ushered in. Praise the Lord. Well, the Bible's real clear in Galatians chapter 4, comparing these covenants to Hagar and Sarah. It says, Tell me, you who want to be under the law, are you not aware of what the law says? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the free woman. His son of the slave woman was born the ordinary way, but his son of the free woman was born as a result of the promise. And of course, we know we're talking about Hagar's son, Ishmael, and Sarah's son, Isaac. The Bible says these things may be taken figuratively, and they represent two covenants. The one covenant is from Mount Sinai and bears children who are to be slaves. This is Hagar. Hagar and Ishmael represent the old covenant. And yet Isaac is born of the promise, born by faith of Sarah, and he represents the new covenant. The Bible says clearly, Now you brothers, like Isaac, are children of the promise. At that time, the son born the ordinary way, Ishmael, persecuted the son born by the power of the Spirit. Then Paul says, It is the same way now. In the same way, many of those who are trying to follow the old covenant law persecute those of us who enjoy the freedom of new covenant grace. Well, what does the word say that happened then? It says, Get rid of the slave woman and her son, for the slave woman's son will never share in the inheritance of the free woman's son. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are not children of the slave woman, but of the free woman. I want you to understand, Hagar and Ishmael represent the old covenant. Sarah and Isaac, the new covenant, born by faith in a supernatural way. We Christians, praise the Lord, we understand that Christ is the end of the law for everyone who believes. The Bible says in Romans, There's therefore no one will be declared righteous in his sight by observing the law. But the purpose of the law was that we become conscious of sin. We become conscious of sin, and now we recognize our need to be saved from ourself. So, now a righteousness from God, apart from the law, has been made known. Praise the Lord. For we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God, but by believing in Christ, we come under the new covenant and the new covenant of love and grace. Christ is the end of the law. Christians, no more confusion. You're not under the old covenant law. We're under the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you all.